today we are going to the very mysterious art gallery that I always pass by on my way to work and I really want to find out what they're having in offer artistically and so today we're going there and this will be the first time for me and uh, yeah I, even, I don't even know it's so secretive there's no name on the on the front of the gallery so I'll find out as well and they change their display very often like every week I d pass by it's something different so I want to see what's what's on today and yeah I'll tell you in a second what's the name of it so yeah that's the gallery I just found the name Osh. and today is turtles all the way down Mark Jackson, right? Um, an exhibition. What's the name of the exhibition? Turtles all the way down. Turtles all the way down. Yeah, uh, that's a pretty cool name, actually. Um, and it's not my title. I mean, I borrowed it. Oh, where, where did you borrow it from? I heard it on a podcast. The concept yeah. goes like it's really long and elaborate. Oh, I mean, turtles all the way down. That sounds elaborate. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's like the idea. It's, a, it's from Hindu uh, myth, hmm. and the Earth was a flat surface held up at corners by mm. elephants. I think I've seen the, the images of that. Yeah, the, it's, it's kind of in popular culture as well. It alludes to uh, the idea of not being able to know mm. everything. Okay. Uh, you keep, you, Kids and in, in science, the idea of infinite regress. Like mm. The further you go, the more it just escapes you and eludes. Yeah, uh, that's especially relevant in today's like d today's D and age of like science. As much we explore, there's like even more questions. The more we explore, the better like telescopes we get. The, the more details exactly. there are. Yeah? Exactly, yeah. That's pretty cool. And I chose it as a way to give a kind of background context to the work. Mm. It's how I like to see painting and artwork in general mm. as mostly noble, but ultimately kind of slightly out of grasp, out mm. of reach. And I try and paint with that in mind, and these paintings are made with that in mind. I just, I'm like curious to see what happens. Oh, yeah. So uh, that's why, so for instance, all this marbling, Mm -hmm. On the work, there's all this bronze. Yeah, I was actually curious about the, the bronze. It, it comes from trying to marble paintings, you know, like you can marble paper. Mm. Where you basically dunk paper in oil and water, and yeah. you get these patterns. So I was trying to do that with massive paintings and building these baths oh. to submerge the paintings in. That's uh, the process of it, must have been like being so interesting on its own. It didn't work. It didn't work. I, so mean, there's, I had to there's find there's another way. Mm. And I, I, instead, I, now I lay them flat and I pour all sorts of stuff on them and spray things on them. Mm. And that's how I end up with this kind of bronze, marbled quality that disrupts the figure and mm. leads to a certain level of abstraction. So you let the paint and the mediums do their own work in a way? Yeah. Mm. So yeah, exactly. Letting them. I see there's. Um, I just started noticing. It's quite. When you said the figure, I noticed the figure on the other painting and the, the guitar. I didn't notice this. Uh, the figurative aspect of, of the work. That's quite interesting. Yeah, I was often watching. it comes secondary yeah, yeah, to yeah. people when they see it. Yeah, turns uh, all the way down. And they take a while to, to yeah. kind of pop out. Yeah. But they're always there. In every painting, there's a figure. It starts with a figure or two figures. And then they get submerged and you know, recovered and mm. back and forth. Yeah, so you start with the figure, the figurative art? The figurative paintings. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah. So you don't... I'm, a, I'm an abstract painter at heart, you mm. know. I, I, I can't, 
it's a cliched space in some ways. Yeah. The, or the term between configuration and abstraction is a cliched term. Mm. The space isn't necessarily cliched. Why, why the term do you think is cliché? I think a lot of people work within that space. Mm, um, I see. But that's because it's interesting. Yeah. It's just the challenge is to do something yeah. uh, different in that space. Yeah, but I think that's like almost with any creative medium of, of 21st century. There's a lot of people working with, with videography where in 20th century there wouldn't be that many. And people from that, these times would think that might be cliche a little bit, people creating so much, you know, various content, but, but in a way that only shows you the, 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 the current progress of culture, you know? That's, yeah, possibly. So yeah, yeah. That's, how long is the, the, the exhibition going to be here? This oh. is the last day. Oh, oh, I'm lucky. You're lucky. I'm lucky, oh, yeah. and the viewers aren't lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where, where would you, will you have any other exhibition like in, a, in the near future? Or the I future? don't. I, I'm sure I will. I don't have anything planned mm. at the moment. But um, okay. Once you have, uh, let me know, and I will, um, you know, let the people Great. know about it. And uh, yeah, good. thanks for having us. Pleasure. Thanks Cheers. for coming along. Thanks. Cheers.